Dono, and I will be talking about the life of a Roman soldier today. So the Roman soldier, or the Roman legionary, was the backbone of the Roman army. They had the best training, they had the best equipment, and they had very good pension. Um, some of the requirements was the fact that the uh, soldier had to be a Roman citizen. Um, this would ensure its superiors that they had complete loyalty to the state, um, which is something that is very, very interesting, the fact that they value loyalty sometimes over performance. Um, Roman non-Roman citizens were still able to serve, um, but they would serve as auxiliares, and they would have um, less, ta uh, less important tasks, and they wouldn't have the best training or the best equipment that comes with being a legionnaire. Um, you must be over the age of 20, which is not too young or not too old, and your height requirement had to be of at least 5'5", five five, which is very interesting because um, it's kind of representative of of the strength and discipline over the, the, the typical Roman man. Typical Roman man was known to be um, short, and the fact that you were taller than them, it was almost the, that the strength and the, 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 the discipline that came with being a, a, a soldier was towering over the average man. Um, so what's in it for them? They were granted a plot of land after retirement, stable food and shelter in the army. Um, they could go on to become a prominent member of society. Um, so to go back, the stable food and shelter in the army, a lot of these men came from very, very rich, uh, poor backgrounds. Um, knowing that they have frequent food and shelter coming in um, to their lives, to their everyday lives, was very important to them and was, able, was, was basically the thing that helped them get out of being in poverty. Um, going on to becoming a prominent member of society, um, as we've seen in the lectures before, a lot of men seek to have the military glory, the military background that gains them respect within society and helps them um, move past uh, social, the, the social caste that was once instated in the, Roman, in, in, in the Roman Empire. So they could marry once out of the army. Roman soldiers were not allowed to marry when, um, during, or during their time of service, um, and they were ensured a stable life after their career in the military. Once you have that plot of land, once you have the woman that you want to marry, you are free to build your family and to, to go on with life in, in, in a very stable manner with, with your plot of land, which was in, back in the day a very, very good position to be well off for the rest of your life. Um, so here's the catch. 20 to 25 years that must be served in the army, nothing less. Um, you're not necessarily in the best position. You are technically in the front lines. Um, Life can suck during deployment, food shortages, weather, um, whatever it may be, and you're fighting against barbarians, which uh, Romans were not particularly fond of, um, having these very, very gruesome, uh, gruesome scenes of battle in, in your head throughout for the rest of your life isn't something that, that a lot of Roman soldiers handled very well. Um, and of course, you cannot marry while serving in the military. Um, this would distract you from your... Um, military focus and um, no worries because Caligula, Caligula can take care of them. Uh, so living the life, your life was all about the army. Um, soldiers lived in barracks, um, eight soldiers that would make up a counterburnium. You would eat, sleep, and fight with these men. This was very effective in battle as you would fight alongside men that were basically your brothers. Um, Roman inspections were frequent just like in the military today and physical fitness training was very prevalent. 20 plus miles um, in under five hours um, with 90 plus pounds of equipment. So the everyday carry. Um, the lorica segmentata, which is the body armor made out of metal and leather to protect the core. Um, the cassis, which is the iron helmet, the leather greaves for protection of the shin, which is kind of interesting. Um, the body shield, the scutum, which is um, what the Roman soldier was typically known for. Um, that covered that covered most of their bodies and would help um, with the formation that is very popular um, within them, which was the tor the turtle like formation that would cover their soldier in in every aspect. Um, the spear, the gladius sword, and the additional ruck bag for necessities to ensure survival: flour, a cooking pot, um, camp necessities. So, um, life on the front lines. The richer one was, the more of a chance you had of being in the back of the legion. You could basically buy your way out of the front. You would um, meet with your centurion, you would pay him to get you in the back lines, and then you would um, avoid being in the front and, have, and making that first contact with the enemy. 
um, they the heavy infantry men would strike to the core of the opposition. So they were they were they would push with their scutum and they would poke with their spear um, to be able to 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 move effectively within the battlefield. And whether a scout or a front lines, everyone was required to fight. Um, thank you very much.